Breaking down all 18 things you missed from Survivor Season 44, Episode 12. We're talking all things Carolyn becoming a huge threat, Lauren turning into a challenge beast, Heidi's awkward hidden immunity idol play, foot massages at the Survivor Sanctuary, and much more. Careful for any spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, and it's crazy we only have one episode left of the season. And that means more Survivor puzzles to give away. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video as we announce last week's puzzle giveaway winner. If you want to enter next week's giveaway make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and comment down below your winner pick going into the finale let's get started with number 18 carolyn recaps tribal and i really mean she recaps tribal in full detail and i would argue too much detail as it raises her threat level way too much with the other tribes as she goes into full detail about the red x idol from the pre-merge assuming that either sarah or jam jam found it plays the real idol for carson sending danny home technically carolyn wastes her idol by playing it for Carson, but I stand by what I said last week. Let's just roll the clip. And at the end of the day, the jury just wants to be entertained. Everyone, and I truly mean everyone, was freaking out when Carolyn played her idol for Carson. The jury loved every second of Carolyn's idol play, so if she makes the final tribal council, I think it'll still be a positive. Number 17, Lost in the Sauce. We spent some time with Jam Jam snoring and Heidi going on an idol hunt, but there were so many small details of the last episode that we end up missing out on so I wish we would have got some of that here instead. Conversations like how Lauren felt about Carolyn writing Lauren's name down and crossing it out at Tribal Council, and the dynamic of Lauren and Jamie working with Tika. Because personally, I feel like Lauren and Jamie messed up working with the Three Stooges last Tribal Council. Number 16, Nighttime Idol Hunt. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here as next week for the finale, the group is heading to a new beach, and Carla's asking the important questions if there's gonna be a new idol hidden on that beach, and the answer answer is actually yes. Ultimately, the idol hunt we see right here in this episode starts off pretty useless as no one's gonna end up finding the idol, but it ends up being worth it as it leads into a really fun interaction between Lauren and Carolyn, showing the friendship that these two players have built and also highlighting how much Lauren respects Carolyn's game. Number 15, Tika and Ratu. So we probably have the answer here on why the Ratu players, Lauren and Jamie, decided to work with the Tika players of Carolyn, Carson, and Jam Jam last week. The the simple answer is this week with only six players left in the game, four people gives you a majority. Bringing the Tika boys and Ratu girls together would give you that majority. We do know what ends up happening at Tribal Council, obviously. I'm excited to talk about it. Carson's pretty confident in confessionals that he's not going to betray Carolyn yet, but Jam Jam's not feeling the same way. Look, we'll be talking about it later in the episode as it builds into more of a strategy, but I was convinced Jam Jam was going to turn on Carolyn here. Number 14, Reward Challenge. I love watching reward challenges and seeing the players get rewards during the episodes. But Jeff, if you're watching this, please consider changing up the reward challenges every season instead of just using the same ones over and over and over. To be fair, it is a fun one as the players are put into two teams of three, with two players blindfolded, one guiding them through a series of obstacles within a ball, and once you reach the end, you need to solve a table maze blindfolded. As we're going back to the Survivor Sanctuary and all the players are freaking out about foot massages, sandwiches, Sandwiches and snacks. Number 13, the challenge. You know on Twitter, someone's gonna make the joke that the only reason Carson won this challenge was because he 3D printed the ball. Anyways, we're gonna have the orange team of Carson, Jam Jam, and Lauren taking on the purple team of Carolyn, Jamie, and Heidi. Let me know in the comments down below if you would prefer to be blindfolded or if you would prefer to be the one in the ball during this challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I can't decide which one is worse as I wouldn't want to get lost during the challenge like Carolyn or be constantly upside down down like Carson. Obviously, Carson dominates this challenge as the Orange Tribe wins. Number 12, Survivor is awesome. This has truly been a crazy season of Survivor. And if you've been checking out these recaps every single week, I really need to say thank you. If you want to go above and beyond supporting me and the channel, it would be awesome if you go check out Idol Plays. Giving Survivor challenges to Survivor super fans has truly become a passion project of mine. To celebrate the finale of Survivor 44, we're doing the biggest sale in Idol Plays history. The first 10 people to use the code FINALE30 are gonna get 30% off their entire order. But just a heads up, this deal is only gonna be working until the finale starts next week. As at the same time when the Survivor 44 
finale ends, that means the Survivor 44 Idol Plays drop will officially be over and the store will be going offline. So if you're interested in checking out any of the games or puzzles on Idol Plays, I would go do that now before it's too late. And remember, the first 10 people to use the code FINALE30 get 30% off their entire order. Just go to the first link in the description or idolplays.com. Number 11, the Survivor Sanctuary. It's so simple yet so refreshing that we're back to full rewards on Survivor within the new era and not pretending like we need to torture the players every single week giving them nothing on the island. We get some character development from Lauren about being a single mom and not being able to enjoy things like this, possibly getting the audience to connect with Lauren as she may be making the final three next week. Number 10, strategy on reward. As we lead into Jam Jam, Carson and Lauren talking about strategy on reward. Bouncing off what we said earlier in the video, I was confident the whole time Carson was never gonna betray Carolyn, but not gonna lie, I wasn't so convinced about Jam Jam. I thought this was the moment he was finally gonna get rid of Carolyn. Remember this next week, but a 100% Russell Muscle guarantee between Jam Jam and Carolyn, whoever gets rid of the other one first will win the game. Number nine, the losers. Carolyn, Jamie, and Heidi come back to camp as Jamie and Heidi try to convince Carolyn to take out Carson. It's honestly so crazy that the Tika three have made it this far in the game and that the other players still think that Tika will turn on each other. However, Heidi low key reminds the viewer that she can't really trust anyone out here and that she still has her idol. Ah, no. I was not a fan by this move from Heidi at Tribal Council playing the idol. We'll talk about it later. Number eight, players come together. Carolyn and Jam Jam are gonna get funky as he burps in her mouth and instantly they both agree that that was a little weird even for them. Number seven, Tika is tight. Carson and Carolyn compare notes and they realize that all the other players are trying to split up the Tika three. And we see a tweet that Bruce from the Tika tribe is back from an awesome vacation. If you see my Survivor 45 video, you know what I'm talking about. Ultimately, Carolyn and Carson decide it's probably best to take out one of the Ratu players of Jamie or Lauren, as it wouldn't make sense to target Heidi as she's the only Soka player left. Number six, Jam Jam's emotional. After the season's done, I would love to get confirmation from Jam Jam if he was truly thinking about getting rid of Carolyn here. Because if he wasn't, he deserves an Oscar for a great acting performance telling Jamie that Carolyn needs to go. As we get the build up to a possible Jam Jam win next week as he gets a winner confessional talking about it's time to get serious. Number five, immunity challenge. It's a classic balancing balls challenge as the players need to hold on to two ropes, balancing a ball on a disc and at regular intervals moving farther back and the last person standing wins. Number four, the challenge. What a basic survivor challenge, but at the same time, one day I hope I'm out there on the island competing in a challenge like this. Eventually we get a survivor showdown between Lauren and Heidi as Lauren starts to become a challenge beast winning another immunity challenge. Number three, the plans. Seriously, we need to give the survivor producers a round of applause like we do most recaps as they kept me on my toes the entire time. Obviously the Tika three ends up sticking together, but it didn't look like that the entire episode as plan one was literally no plan at all as no one wanted to talk and instead they all just wanted to enjoy some food. Plan two was to take out Jamie. This plan would ultimately be the Tika three and Heidi working together. Plan three, take out Carolyn. This plan would involve the Ratu girls of Lauren and Jamie working with the Tika boys of Jam Jam and Carson. Plan four, Heidi's idol play. We all know she ends up wasting her idol here. I'm annoyed by it and it makes me think she's gonna be the zero vote finalist next week, but it would have been a top tier survivor move if Heidi plays her idol for Jamie and in the process getting rid of the biggest player of the season, Carolyn. Or at least that's what James from The Amazing Race thinks. Number two, Tribal Council. The survivor producers have been fairly lucky this season with the amount of reactions and facial expressions that Jam Jim and Carolyn are always giving them. However, the producers aren't perfect and they make the mistake of using a clip of Jamie from last week's episode. Ultimately, Heidi wastes her idol, leading into number one, Jamie voted out. As Jeff Probst is obviously pissed off that the players predicted the pointless twist about the final five they go to a new beach. Anyways, congratulations, Patty. You're this week's giveaway winner. I'll announce a new winner next week during the Survivor 44 finale and click right here for a quick update on Survivor 45.